Hey guys, so this is Blade Boquist. I got up today and started having a great day. I just started thinking about how I got here. I'm really excited about today. I'm going to be streaming later. It's going to be a really good time. I thought back, not just you know the hard work of reading the books and trying to make money in, in a company where there's opportunity, but what were the what were the decisions and defining moments that even allowed me the opportunity to find a company like this? And I actually, I isolated three. I isolated three decisions, which I thought meant nothing at the time. I thought they were totally unimportant, irrelevant, you know, decisions where I uh, I did the right thing where it didn't seem like it mattered at all if I did the wrong thing. So it kind of, you know, made me realize, you know, a couple small things don't seem to matter. If you do the right thing can really lead to everything that you, you cherish in life and everything that you become as a person, because I made these decisions as a kid. I kind of want to go over them, you guys. I think, uh, I think it'll probably speak to you guys wherever it is that you are right now and the decisions you have to make. So this is not rehearsed, or we're doing one take here, so if I can't think of whatever it is, you know, we're all in this together. But this is on my heart, and I just think that uh, it'll benefit a lot of you guys. So when I was 12 years old, so in seventh grade, I, uh, I met a guy, we're going to call him Charlie Brown, just for the sake of his identity. He uh, wasn't the most popular kid. He uh, definitely didn't have a lot of friends, but he did have one thing going for him that the school really liked. And that was his mom was a video game tester. And so he made a lot of faux friends, basically, by uh, giving them games. And, you know, people would be around him until he could go to his house and get as many games. And it was amazing. He would oftentimes, almost every day, bring 10 different games to school, give them out. And this was cool. You know, people were cordial with him, but, you know, behind his back, other things were said. And it, uh, it kind of made me sad. You know, he didn't really have kind of friend that I think he deserved. Or maybe he did, but I, you know, for my sphere of influence, I didn't know. Um, so I, I wanted to just be his friend for the sake of, he's a really good guy. You know, he really is. He, one of the biggest hearts of anybody I've ever met, and this is when I was 12 years old. So we became friends. You know, he was super nice, easy to be friends with him. And uh, yeah, we, over the course of a year, we kind of hung out. And, you know, he did share games with me like everybody else and things like that. But I was over at his house and we were having a good time. He introduced me to a game called Star Wars Galaxies, and he let me play it on his brother's account. I didn't want to play it, really, but he was like, no, you got to get into this. And he played it on his main account, and I played it on his brother's account, and I really liked it. I played it only over at his house until finally he gave me the login. He's like, yeah, you can play, make a character, stuff like this. Uh, well, eventually, I really got into the character, had a lot of fun, and then he was playing the MMO, and I was playing the MMO from our own computers in our house, and we just remained online friends. So I bought the account from his brother, changed all the addresses, payment information, you know, deleted all his characters, and just had my one character. And uh, it was really cool. So, so that one decision to just say, you know, who is this guy? A little bit lonely, you know, really trying to do the right thing, but it's not quite working for him. Uh, I kind of went out of my way and made a great friendship. And I was just like, oh, you know, this is a good thing to do. I could have easily just hung out with my other friends and done things that were easier. But I kind of reached out, got out of my own box, so to speak and met him, which put me on the first of, you know, three major courses and things like that throughout my life. So I started playing Star Wars Galaxies. Good old Charlie Brown. <laughs> That's his alias. In Star Wars Galaxies, two unbelievable things happened. The first is, I had to choose whether to be a light or dark Jedi. Now, this is where I really want to impress upon you. This, this one moment is what uh, made me decide I need to make a video for you guys. Let me explain what my character was like back in Star Wars Galaxies. He was very powerful. Um, I spent an unreasonable amount of time and an unhealthy amount of time getting everything I possibly could to gain power in the game. As a, as a young teenager, that was the most important thing for me. And uh, what I wanted was a higher PvP rating. In order to get higher PvP ratings, you had to kill others. You had to death blow them. Now, duels would happen all the time, most of the time they didn't go to death, but every duel could go to death if the person decided to death blow. So people would often say, you know, no DB duel. So no death blow duel. Things like that. And, uh, you know, if, if we specifically said not to the death, I would, I would adhere to that. I would say, okay, you know, we said not to the death or something. Um, occasionally, I would kill them anyway and just say, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't mean to. I misclicked or something. 
and uh, of course that was the wrong decision. But I just wanted a higher PvP rating, and I did it by you know whatever means I could. Other times when um, people would not want to duel, I was like, no, 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 come on, let's just duel. I'm trying to test something. And if they didn't specifically say not to the death, I would kill them, I'd kill them every time, and I would do whatever I could to get a higher PvP rating. And I felt bad about this at first, but at the same time, I just said, you know, it's just a game. It doesn't really matter. Uh, what could this possibly affect? Like, if it's possible in the game, then it's fine, and it's moral, and it's allowed, and it's no big deal. So I continued to do this, and got an extremely high PvP rating over the years. And it finally came to my attention. I was like, you know what? Do I go light Jedi, or do I go dark Jedi? Either way, it's a game, and you're supposed to take on a role. Like, I could do Light Jedi, but I'm not going to be able to have my underhanded, easy ways of winning. If I go Dark Jedi, hey, I'm a Dark Jedi, of course I killed you, you know? What's the big deal? I should have saw it coming. I'm a Dark Jedi, of course. And I was completely certain that I should go Dark. I was like, you know what? I need to go Dark Jedi. I need to kill these people. I need to get stronger. It doesn't really matter. Power's all that matters. Let me just kill them all. It'll be fine. It's a game. Whatever. I'm a teenager. It's like 14. Um, I told my mom. I love my mom. She's uh, been one of the best examples in my life, my entire life. She's a wonderful woman, extremely, extremely honorable, filled with confidence and wisdom, and uh, just really amazed me all through my childhood and teenage years, just how incredible of a person she is. It's really, really cool. I love my mom. And when I told her I was going to be a Dark Jedi, and for these reasons, she said it was breaking her heart. I was like, what are you talking about, breaking your heart? It's a game. Look, there's two paths, they give it to you, you can choose, are you going to be light or are you going to be dark? I was like, I'm, I can win more as a dark Jedi, I can get stronger, I can get better, let me just do this, and I don't have to feel bad about whatever else, I don't have to break character, I can just kill them, you know? That's how you get PvP rating anyway, you kill them, so should you be the side that doesn't want to do that, or should you be the side that wins? I'm like, it doesn't matter, it's just a game. And she said, it does matter. Honey, it does matter, you have to be a light Jedi. I was like, oh, mom, come on, a light Jedi? I don't, I mean, I don't want to do that. I won't be able to kill him as easily. I mean, I could still, you know, I'll fight the dark Jedi, but I don't want to tell him I'm going to kill him. I just want to do it. And I was so close. My decision was basically made, but uh, she changed my mind with no real logic other than, you got to be a light Jedi, do the right thing. I'm like, it's not wrong to be a dark Jedi. It's just a game. Well, I caved, you guys. I caved and I became a light Jedi. And I played that game for the course of probably about eight years. Off and on. So pretty much from when the game started to when it all closed down. And over the course of many years of being a light Jedi, things changed. It was kind of crazy. It wasn't really me playing a game anymore. It was almost like I was embodying the personification of how I want to become and what is good in life and things like that. Because you automatically fall into the role that your character is playing in a game over the course of an extended amount of time. Especially as a teenager. You know, it doesn't apply to every adult and every game and all that stuff. It doesn't mean you play a game for one minute as a murderer and you're a murderer. Not at all. But everything we think about goes into becoming our words and our words become our actions and our actions become our habits. Our habits become our fate little saying I learned in Kung Fu training. But day after day after day, I was playing as a light Jedi. You know, people would come up, they'd bow to me, things like that, and they would ask my, they would be in role play fashion. I thought it was kind of ridiculous. They'd, you know, can I get your counsel on this? What wise advice do you have here? And, you know, day after day for day for years, I just kind of fell into it. And people started saying, like, uh, my name was reversed back then. It was BoQuest Blade. People are saying, oh, BoQuest is the Yoda of our time. Just random things. And they're kids, too. It doesn't really mean anything. But, you know, for a teenager myself, I was like, wow, okay, cool. You know, that's great. So, yeah, I'm like the embodiment of light, almost, so to speak, you know. And uh, yeah, I just kind of fell into that role. I never really got into full-on, like, role play or whatever. That stuff kind of bored me. I was more into the PvP aspect and getting stronger. Even PvE, really, I loved in that game. But, um, I decided to go to the light side, and uh, that was an extremely important decision, I think, because in conflicts in school, and even you know with my parents and things like that, but I can think really mostly in school, you know, when I had to resolve tough issues, you know, getting picked on or whatever, because every kid does, you know, 
I know there's all these movements about anti-bullying, but it's kind of part of life in a sense, you know. But um, yeah, when, when that happened, you know, I could make choices, right? And I'd spent so much time as a light Jedi in this game where I would take the better path, you know. Um, I believe that if I took the dark side, that I would be more pugnacious and uh, more belligerent and have and just be easier to cause problems saying like, no, no, this is fine, this is my, my way or whatever, and not really respect authority like I grew up learning to. And I really believe that that is the second major defining decision. Now, here's why all of that is important. Without the third decision, the first two wouldn't really matter. Okay, but then the third thing came along, and that is really what has created every aspect of my life, which I, I really enjoy. I really like my life, and, uh, and this is the final thing that really created it. Okay, so over the years, I got pretty good as a light Jedi. Eventually, I decided that somebody else should probably know all of the stuff that I learned, because I played the game for many years, and I got quite good. And uh, I was like, all right, let me pass on my information. You know, I guess I'll take a Padawan, so to speak. I thought it was kind of ridiculous, but I was like, let me find somebody that I can just tell how to play this game and tell them all of the stuff. Because I fought in you know, pre-CU combat upgrade, if you're not familiar with the, the game. Over several years, the game changed entirely. And uh, I stayed up to date. I stayed current on the best way to fight in all of it. And so the new game enhancements came along, and I said, you know what, I want to share all of the stories of old with somebody, and I want to uh, teach all of the fighting skills that I learned. And there was a lot of things. So I went through 50 different people. I just didn't click with them, and that seems, I know, completely crazy and ridiculous. But um, I did. There was a lot of people that knew me, and they wanted me to train them. I said, no, no, no. I finally found one that impressed me, and we really clicked, and we hit it off. And his name is Betra. His name is Betra. And we did the whole, like, kind of roleplay-esque thing. Like, we'll go into caves. Uh, we'll, uh, you know, I'll explain what he could do better. And he was like, yes, sir, and all this stuff. Or yes, master, you know, Star Wars Jedi fashion. And we just had a really fun time. It was cool. It was really cool. Well, this went on for a really long time. Really long time. I thought it would probably take about three months to tell everything that I knew. It seems like a reasonable amount of time. Um, but it actually took about three years. It took a really long time because I just kept coming up with new things and new ways of spinning different things. I wanted to share it with them. And for 80% of it, it was fun, you know, but for 20%, it was definitely work. And there were times when I was like, why am I doing this? I wanted to do this. I wanted to share my information with them because I didn't want to play the game anymore. But I felt that everything that I learned should stay in the game. It was a lot of knowledge, and I kind of wanted to pass it on from like one player to the next player generation. So, but over the course of years, I was like, I don't even want to play this game. This is boring to me. I've done it for so long. All the things that I used to love are gone. Why am I doing this? And I couldn't really think of a reason. I was like, I love, I love Betra. We're having a good time. But we're not having like a good enough time for me to continuously play a game for, you know, this was like two years of training at the point. Like... I don't want to keep on doing something I don't want to do just uh, to give him more and more and more information. And I was like, what is the reason? Why am I doing it? I'm like, I'm not getting anything out of it. I love him as a friend. We had a great friendship for years. I'm like, I don't, hmm, what? You know, I was trying to figure it out. I was like, why do this? And I couldn't actually think of a major benefit to me. Now, looking back, you know, just friendship and other things and the fact that I got to play a game, you know, life is a lot harder than playing games. There's a lot of actually, of course, fun reasons to, to do it. Back then, I was like, I don't know why I'm doing it. But I said, I know that it's a great benefit to him. He loves this. He's getting a lot out of it. He's getting strength and he's having fun. And I'm like, I'm literally going to do this for him and I'm not worried about getting anything out of it. And I acknowledge the fact, I'm like, I'm going to do this for as long as it takes, another year, and I know nothing's going to come out of it for me, and I'm not worried about it. This is good for him. So I made that decision. Another year goes on, and it comes to the time where I need to get a job and figure out how to make money. And you know, he and I have become good friends over the course of three years. And uh, he was a stock options trader and also a software developer for a company. Uh, he was older than me. I was, I don't know, uh, I guess maybe... 19, 20, something around there. And, uh, and I said, you know, I need to find ways to make more than $250 a week. You know, this is crazy. What do I need to do? And I came up with six different business ideas. And he was my only business role model in my life. 
And I said, what do you think about this, 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 and this? And he said, I think all of those would work if you poured your time into it. But if you really want to make money, I'm doing software development for a company that uh, makes you work really, really hard and be working crazy hours, 12, 16 hours a day, but the money is there. And I said, I don't care how hard the, the work is. If the money's there, I'm going to go do it. So I made a call and I got a spot on a sales team. Now, we're going to shorten up the last seven years of this story. But that sales team is now what I own. I worked really hard, became a team leader, uh, allowed me to afford all of the good things in my life. Bought my house in New Jersey, bought uh, five rental units in Pittsburgh, things like that. And it's only because of those three decisions that I got on that path. I befriended someone that you know was doing fine, I guess, but just seemed lonely. And I was like, you know what? Let me go out of my own comfort zone and just do something because this guy deserves it. He's a nice guy and people aren't treating him right. And I still have him as a friend to this day. He's a great guy and I am I benefited probably more than him, you know, because I said I want to be his friend because he needs a friend. And then a totally random, seemingly insignificant decision. I want to be a dark Jedi or a light Jedi. And I'd already chosen dark because I would have gotten better at the game. It seemed like the right decision, you know? And I kept saying it's just the game. I kept saying it doesn't matter. And my mom was just like, no, honey, be a light Jedi. Try to be the best. You know, be the best kind of person. Be the right kind of person. And I was like, but it's a game. You know, she convinced me through no real logic or reasoning. We became a light Jedi. I never would have met Betra without that decision. Plus, just playing as a light Jedi made me start thinking uh, more uprightly and kind of looking for the best solutions in game and out of game. I know. It really affected my psyche and got me reading better books and got me thinking better. Just by a simple decision like that as a kid, where it doesn't seem like it matters. Really interesting. And of course that took me to meeting Petra, who got me aligned with uh, my current career. And it's only because of the people that I work with in that career that got me playing Star Wars The Old Republic. And because uh, I wasn't gaming for three years and they got me into it. And then, of course, it was people I met in that game that got me live streaming. I don't have a thousand, tons and tons, well, I do have a thousand, but I don't have tons of followers on Twitch. I do have 6,000. I wouldn't exist to those 6,000 people, as far as they're concerned, if not for these three small decisions. So this is more than just a butterfly effect video. This is a, when you don't think it matters, and you have a right thing to do and a wrong thing to do, it does matter, and you should do the right thing because it could lead to all good things and a very high quality of life. I truly believe that you don't know about the future at all. We have no idea what a day holds, but you do know one thing. You know what to do moment by moment. And I believe that you should take the right course of action because the future will take care of itself. But as you go ahead and make these good decisions, I believe they will lead to an abundant life for you as well. They did for me, it kind of blows my mind, really thinking about it. And just this morning getting up, I was having such a good time, just like waking up, I was like, all right, let's get some breakfast going. Cool, I get to stream today, this is gonna be a fun day, my work is already finished, this is gonna be awesome. I was like, what created that? And it seems like these just these minor things really gave me such a, such a good path. So guys, I really wanna impress upon you, just like I said before, make the right decision. I do believe it has a major impact on your future, even if it seems like it doesn't at all. I truly believe it does. And then also, this is kind of like a minor call to action to maybe the 50 people that will watch this video. I don't know. But uh, when you're on the internet, you know, be a good person and use it not to just say, oh, there's anonymity out here. I can do anything and get away with it. Or you could say, this is a character that I can kind of breathe life into. Let your character be the personification of how you want to be. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video. I had a really good time, and I'll probably see a lot of you live streaming later today. See you guys.